welcome back to Let's Build. Now, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be building a logo for our series. I wanted to do like a nice flashy kind of build in the sky that just spells out Druidaria and around it have like different themes for our different backgrounds. So we have like the goblin theme, we have uh, like the, the druid theme with the tree, that's me, I guess, the elf. We have like a ziggurat, which is Duncan, and we have like a weird plagiarized spinly tower that, uh, that Lewis is going for. And I'm going to get on with that, but first up I found a cool trick that I want to show you guys. Now, we've used just regular chain here to do the chain for the drawbridge, but I'm going to dig this up because I saw a really cool, a really cool suggestion from one of you guys on Twitter. And as always, make sure you do tweet me if you've got any tips or suggestions, or if you have um, any builds of your own that you want to show me, give me some ideas, or just suggestions of any caliber. Do kind of drop me a line or post in the comment section down at the bottom there what you want to see me do, your ideas, or, or just anything, anything you want to say, make sure you do pop it in the comments section because I do read those. Okay, so this trick for chains involves minecart tracks and what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to need paint and minecart track and what we're going to basically do is build track up from the chain up here with some minecart track. We're going to engage placement mode. Also, another cool thing I want to show you guys is some extra tools that you guys have suggested that I do try out. One of those is the Architect's Gizmo Pack. Increases tile and wall placement speed and reach. Automatically paints placed objects. So we're going to grab ourselves one of those and equip that son of a gun. And now what this also does is it gives us... Uh, it doesn't give us a ruler though, does it? So what also you can use is a mechanical ruler. Now, I think a mechanical ruler upgrades into something else. Let me see what that is. Right, so it upgrades to something called the Grand Design. But what is that? Let's have a look. The Grand Design allows ultimate control over wires. Now, this is... Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, my God! This is amazing! Look, it gives us, like, a weird kind of tool that lets us place wherever we want. So we can just go, like, boop and boop and boop oh this is perfect right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build diagonally down like this in a straight line hello mr penguin if you come to help us build excellent oh my god i'm so sorry mr penguin oh jeez, this is awkward um i'm just killing my help here so what we also want to do now is equip the ruler and we're going to build on the blocks now underneath that track. So this is a too thick diagonal section of track. And you want to take this all the way up underneath your first line of track. Okay, and now you're thinking, hang on a sec. This looks terrible. It doesn't look like a chain. Well, patience, my friend. We're going to turn off the ruler now. And we're going to hammer this until it looks right. Now, this requires a lot of, a lot of patience. But if you do it right, you get this kind of interweaving chain effect. And there we go, the chains interlock. And that already looks pretty damn cool. That's a much better looking chain than the zigzaggedy approach that we had to do with the regular iron chains. Right, okay, so fast forward. It's time to paint. Now, I'm not sure how we uh, do paint with the grand design. So we're just going to use a paintbrush like this. And the paint that we're going to use is gray and now what the gray paint lets us do is paint in you see the planks because minecart tracks have those wooden kind of rungs but we can use the gray paint to conceal those and make them gray and hey presto you have yourself a pretty swanky looking chain all i did was put down some minecart track used some gray paint and i hammered it until we achieved the look that we were going for okay so let's start building our sign in the sky. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fly across the map until we find a nice area away from our castle that has a good background that we can use. Now if you go high up enough you get these sky islands. If you come back down then the background should start to change. Now I don't think we want to be on a desert. Okay so now we're in the jungle but this is a very green background that I'm not sure we want. It's a bit too green. I like the blue background. Oh, corruption. Now, that's very evil looking, so that might be good for, like, an evil background. Maybe, like, a PvP 
logo for when we do PvP, which we're definitely going to do at some point. Snow is a nice, it's got a nice background, but again, it's not green enough for what we're looking for. It's, it's nice, but it doesn't quite say Terraria to us. Okay, so we're going to go and stick with the sky biome background. Now, before we get started, I wanted to shout out to Tricks the God, who did us an amazing logo. It's super awesome. Thank you very much. But I wanted to create something myself uh, just because I love building, and this is a great opportunity to try that. Now we're going to cheat here slightly. We've already got an R here that's quite functional. And we want to kind of create another R that's very similar, but we can chisel away at this one and make it slightly different. So we're going to use the paint tool here and the eyedropper, drag ourselves another R. And again, the same technique, because we've already used some of the same letters. We're going to grab Juradar and then I and the A for the last two. Right, now it's time to add some grass seeds. We're going to flesh out these dirt blocks with a little bit of green. What we need to do now is start to add some flashy backgrounds. Now there's a whole bunch of different types of grass wool. And again, like when you're building anything, the best thing you can do is trial and error. Now we're going to put the whole thing on a cloud. So we're going to spawn in some cloud blocks and cloud wall. Now, rain cloud is a block that you can gather, and it has a pretty cool effect. When you put rain cloud down, it starts to rain underneath it, as you'd expect. And this is what it looks like. And you know what? I'm pretty sure this is how clouds work in real life, right? Yeah, sure. There's rainy cloud blocks, and there's normal cloud blocks, and they just float on by. And sometimes it rains, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on whatever blocks the cloud's built from, right? And now it's time to add some living leaves. Now we're very much building miniature here. This isn't supposed to be the size of a living wood tree because this logo is supposed to just be like a very kind of small, intimate affair. And what we're gonna do is we're again gonna use the living leaf wall around the edges just to bolster and shade that effect. Okay, pretty swanky, but where do I live? Well, I live inside the D, so we're gonna use some wood to decorate the D of the Druidaria. So this is gonna be like as if an elf got some wood carving himself a little place to live. Okay, so next we're going to do Tom's little kind of goblin cave. Now we're going to stick with the thing that he's got, stone slabs. Fair enough. Works for him, it works for me. And he's going to have a little cave built into the cloud. A cloud cave. Sure, that works. Where are we going to put Lewis's tower though? Probably above this R. That's enough space. And what is he used for his tower? If I remember rightly, it's stone bricks. That's all he's got. Right, now it's time to start filling in the inside of this sneaky little tower. We don't have to worry too much about going outside the lines because we can always hammer those out. And we're going to give him a swanky roof in the form of Dynasty Shingles. There we go. He's got a sneaky little weird wizard tower. Sure. Right, so that just leaves Duncan's ziggurat. There's a perfect space for an A kind of, of an upwards V. And that's what Duncan's build definitely is. Right, so here it is, in completion, the Druidaria logo. We've got the D with the flourish on the end, and this is my little house, the living wood uh, bookcase, and the wood and the platform, and the lamps, of course. It's getting night time, so we better be quick. We've got the R, the U, and uh, Tom's little goblin dungeon underneath there. The I and the D, and Duncan's little bone ziggurat underneath the A. Above the R, we have Lewis's spindly tower, bit spinny but uh, that's fine it's probably not as good as he can do it but uh, yeah he's not here and a rain cloud that drips over the A to a waterfall that should take us all the way back down into nothing so thanks for watching this build as always if you have any comments queries or suggestions make sure you post them in the comments section if you've got builds of your own that you want to show me definitely do and in fact if you think you can do better than this Druidaria logo Definitely give it a try. Uh, drop it in the comment section or tweet me. Might be better at Yogscastgin so that I can see it. And I'd love to see what you guys can come up with for your Druidaria logos. Also, if you want to do a Let's Build logo, that'd be quite cool. Or if you just want to show off any of the builds that you've done, it's just such a joy to see what I've inspired you guys to do at home. So flex your building muscles, get out there, grab some blocks, and build something in Terraria. I've been Stjin, hit like and subscribe. Hit that bell, that's the notifications thing at the top that will tell you every time I've published a video. 
so you can check it out and get the uh, inside scoop on what's coming out when it comes out. You get a notification to your phone whenever I publish a video. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I use it, but then again, that's me. Uh, Until next time, guys, take care.